He breaks down opponents, opponents and makes them weary of this. Decent defense from Jacobs. The Mexican fan club. Yeah, that mightily impressive. Here comes Jacobs, though, trying to rip it up and change things and apply the move. Not a stain apart from that one, which is very, very good. He's up the torso movement. This is good from Jacobs with Canelo back to the road. Nothing real clean landing, but... Yeah, the defence from Alvarez, excellent though. A back is yeah, hard, he gets it. something going. As he gets towards the championship round, he just slow down ever so slightly. And uh, that could be the difference here. Jacobs getting his jab going. Alvarez looking for the big left. He missed. And that's expending it. Fascinating. Jacobs, he's trying desperately stop, stop, hard stop, stop. to get something going. You can see that Jacobs is feeling the pace there, Dave. I think Jacobs has, has picked up his work in the last minute for the first two minutes though. It was too quiet, he needs to get a grip of the fight. And think... This is good from Jacobs with Canelo back to the ropes. Nothing real clean landing, but... Yeah, the defence from Alvarez, excellent though. And back he comes, the fire that we hope for. And Alvarez now with a combination. And a really exciting eighth round here. Slightly, and Jacobs is able to just put together the odd combination. And if this carries on... Not in shots, and a lovely combination there from Jim. A mega match can be made. I'm sure everybody will be delighted. So Jacobs is able to back him up, and anything Jacobs comes with, he's able to block. Stay south for here, Jacobs, and these body punches. And it's the electric pace of Alvarez, who looks for the New Yorker. Trying to utilise the whole ring and move. Stop, stop, no. There you go. You can't stand there and be pondering. You have to be concentrating and looking at every counter. And Canelo was able to get through with a couple of shots. They're good and that evenly matched. That's a good point. And he started so brilliantly. Last few seconds. What's the reaction going to be from the pair of them? It is mutual respect. Because top quality fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds now. of middleweight action, we go to the scorecards. Dave Moretti and Steve Weisfeld both have it 115, 113. Glenn Feldman scores it 116 to 112. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. Saul Canelo! success with the right hook for just about the first time in the contest and Jacobs struggling to find the openings himself. Picking up a little bit now. And looking for a counter right hand now. Well, comes firing back. Now this is where Ryder wants the fight. Two solid left hooks and suddenly Ryder is right back in the fight. 20 seconds to go in the second. Keep it going if you don't let him go. This is better from Ryder now, and a good body shot. This is his kind of range, and he drives Jacobs back to the ropes, and Jacobs is forced to hold on. Last few seconds, Ryder again comes strong at the end of the round. And it's all for working his hands on the inside now. On the inside. Jacobs has messed it up. But he's given Ryder his chance, this opportunity, and Ryder is taking it right now. Jacobs, it has to be said. Then a left hand from Ryder, being urged forward by his corner, and by Darren Barker alongside us, as Ryder works away inside. From Ryder, overcut the hook, working his hands at close range. Showing that champion quality, the champion mentality. Signs of a rally from Jacobs in one last, will it be vain attempt, working away on the inside. This is where he's been so successful during the contest. For your winner by split decision from Islington, London, England, John the Gorilla Ryder! Board line of it at the moment against Smith. This is um, who will bite first. Use fainter this time to open your man up. 
Smith was back on the ropes and he just managed to... Well, that was decent from Ryder. This thing's from Ryder. Good combination. You see that? Jabbing to the stomach, then goes upstairs with it. Ryder closing with it and jumping up with it. That's having success now with a... You see, he's not comfortable with that jab because he has to jump. And that's a good lead. Just maybe beginning to turn the screw himself, or it looked like he was. And just... For all the time, Ryder's not giving Smith any peace whatsoever. Out of range, just sliding out of range. Good stiff left hand. Pit of the stomach there from Smith, and they both look fairly fresh in the back, but his right glove just skims the shoulder of Ryder, who had rings like this. Box, use your jab, mix up your fight, everything Ryder can do. He's been trying to, he's been trying to, and it's not working. So just tie him and then through the right hand up over the top, and at the very start of the fight, to really get anything done there. Try and, try and force a knockdown on Hurt right now. No one's really watered at it. The Ryder again getting on the front foot here, nice right hand to the body. But I think when he's in there with somebody like Ryder, just tight. He's fought a physical fight, Ryder, right the safest place for him to be, but also where and nice little overhand left there to the ropes. Smith is easy. Yeah, Smith is easy to tie him up now. Smith, he was 20 to 1 on when we saw this. The old front of Smith, he comes back with the right hand. But again, right. Smith just giving him way too much momentum, but he's trying. Left, but didn't manage to make contact with either one of them, the Liverpool crowd. And Smith is looking a little bit shaky. Beautiful way right 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 to right and if he can finish this strongly, he's done at the 12th, and Smith has got to go with him here. They've got to pour it. Even though he's on the outside, he's boxing. He's not allowing Ryder to come in or gain any momentum. Minute down in round 12. It's coming down, it's coming down to now who wants it more. Who wants it more. And who can be smart, and who can box, and keep it through the round. And again, Ryder just looking to disentangle and get to it. Just rolling forward again. Smith trying to put those punches, been grueling. And Ryder has brought it from the beginning, and he's putting out. For the man of careers, Callum Smith was a huge favourite. And the crowd around ringside trying to let his own right go. And there goes the bell, and Tony Smith victory. Well, his plan would have been to just tie him up and negate that, but. I don't never pause still. WBA. Body shot there by Callum Smith. There is something to going in and fighting in the big event. It's a sapphire of energy. Canelo trying with the hook and a jab. Uppercut tried there by Callum Smith, fell short. Trying to measure him, and Ryder was able to walk right to him and land shots. He knows he cannot. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Zaggy back in London, so we've got you covered here. Round number two, and Callum Smith, we believe winning that first round, but Smith no, a getting... Of, uh, he threw a little bit more punches. <laughs> and I don't think Callum Smith will, but he is wilting under these shots. Canelo, oh! hard right hand by Alvarez, and a body shot. <laughs> Right hand that hurt Smith. That it was low, so that's how you know it was good. He's also not built that way, Sergio. Right? No, just he, two, he's just two games. Super middleweight championship of the world. Canelo Alvarez comes out firing. He has looks. And Canelo has bullied Smith the entire fight. He will try to go for the knockout. Snapping jab from Canelo Alvarez in a right hand. Up face from Callum Smith. He fires back with his own combination. Smith's got stand up to it. Can he stay on his feet for another? Canelo winging shots throughout this fight. Combinations from Canelo. Right hand. Best punchers. Canelo saw it coming a mile away. That is, that's something. Final 30 seconds. Callum Smith did everything he could in this fight. Bad style matchup. Canelo Alvarez with the look. 
of a three B, the super middleweight champion of the world. He won a belt at 75, but that's not the world championship. This was. This will make Canelo Alvarez a legitimate four division world champion. No, three. That's three. 154, 160, 168. The judges had it 11 rounds to one or nine rounds to three. Three rounds sounds generous, not out of the realm of possibility. Something else beyond the jab to win this fight. Canelo is when Eddie Reynoso and Canelo said that we're going to take him out in the eighth, ninth. Of Carl, how much different do you notice Canelo's style? Just out of range. He's in the danger zone when he backs up here to the court. That did look aggressive. Back Billy Joe up there into the corner and through that heavy body shot. Of course, also in the United Kingdom. Good morning to you, Billy Joe Saunders. Harold Spence. Texas is owned. Down and unload it with a power shot. He doesn't want to do that. Canelo looking for him. Just needs to keep going in and out and try to time Canelo when he moves in. Canelo is going to do it when I think he's going to do. However, after all the trash talk Billy Joe Saunders has given us, and Billy Joe does not want to be hit to the head with that same power that he's feeling. He controlled the distance and landed some good shots. They're still going to dig into the side of your ribs, and that takes energy. Oh, nice out of you. double jab. Canelo said it's going to take me a while to be clever. I mean, he uses the pivots, he uses angles. He's oh, nice left hook from Saunders. And not only is he scoring more right now, Chris Mannix, but he's fighting with confidence. Round seven scheduled for 12. This is for the Unified Super Middleweight Championship. Than any opponent I've seen since he's been out of Galapagos. He's throwing combinations. They're not as impactful. Uppercut from Canelo. Oh, Canelo making it very difficult for Canelo to land a big shot. And that seven. The work output of Canelo. Extremely close. Canelo trying to figure him out a little bit. I think he's definitely trying to figure Predicted they would stop Saunders. 68, 66, Canelo. He's only two rounds old. Saunders took an awkward step back, and now he's holding on. Chris, your scorecard, you've got Saunders. He breaks down opponents, opponents and makes them weary of the distance instead of countering back. First of all, Ryder landed with a good right hand, then Billy with a left hook counter. This is really bubbling up nicely. Not reached the midway stage of the fight yet. Saunders ahead. Oh. That's a nice left hand from Saunders. Oh, nice smart. Oh, yeah. good right hand from Saunders. Caught Ryder flush, oh, right. tasting his chin, he's taking it well. well Ryder re responded with a right hook of his own there to Billy Joe. I think that shook him up a little bit also. And again, a right hook and then a left uppercut from, from Ryder. And Saund another one. Saunders swinging in hope and he's trying to cover up. And Ryder's going to work on him inside. Seconds ticking down, but Ryder's getting the better of these exchanges. Uppercut off the ropes. Been a good fight. Oh, it's been cracking, hasn't it? Really, yeah. And this last round has been brilliant. Tremendous work from Ryder. His fans are applauding him. That is a really a brave round. effort from Ryder, who thinks he's won it. He certainly won the last round, and he won it big. Saunders celebrates. Ryder celebrates. Gonna be a tight one. We have a unanimous decision. Phil Edwards, 115-114. Howard Foster, 115-113. Dave Paris, 115-113. The winner. And still, the British and Commonwealth middleweight champion in the blue corner from Hatfield. The Joe Billy Ryder corner don't like it. The Joe celebrations are for Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders.